Hello, people of the free internet. My name is Dima, and previously I was a tech blogger and just vlogger to share some stories of my life. But starting from today, we'll be doing a lot of videos on English just to tell you what is happening in Ukraine. As you know, currently there is a huge war between Ukraine and Russia happening in the middle of the Europe. Russia is attacking many cities of Ukraine from many directions and from their own territory and from the territory of the Belarusia. Currently, Russia is blocking a couple of cities in Ukraine and trying to create humanitarian crisis. Humanitarian crisis in the middle of the Europe. Can you imagine this happening in 21st century? Right now, Russia is attacking our civil buildings, Russia is attacking hospitals, Russia is attacking kindergartens. Russia is not even stopping from attacking nuclear plants. Right now, two nuclear plants of Ukraine is taking over Russia occupants, and they actually don't care what will happen next. For example, right now, Chernobyl nuclear electric station is taking over the Russians and is disconnecting from the electricity. Right now, many experts are saying that this can cause nuclear catastrophe, which will be felt all over the world. Хорошо, что начали. Биологическое оружие. Самые большие электростанции атомные. Do you want to have the second Chernobyl nuclear catastrophe again? Many cities are blocked. People there are hostages of the Russian Federation. They're using these people in their negotiations. Once again, their negotiations are super stupid. They would like to have denazification of the Ukraine. They want to have demilitarization of the Ukraine. And they want to take even more our territories. They are not going to the compromise and they are not stopping attacking our cities. For example, in the city of Melitopol yesterday, they bombed child hospital. And they also bombed maternity hospital places where kids, women and doctors were trying to save their lives. Russian Federation is blocking humanitarian corridors. Even the corridors which they agreed to support. They are bombing simple civilians. They are killing our people. Russian soldiers are fighting without honor or dignity. The only goal for them is genocide of Ukrainian population. Can you imagine that right now, in the middle of Europe, in 21st century, people are dying from dehydration? Kids are dying from dehydration. The population of Militopol is half million people, and all of them are now hostages of the Russian Federation. In the Russian propaganda, they are saying that they are not attacking civil buildings. But they are. They are bombing civil buildings from the artillery, and they just killing civil people in the cars by their militaries. Also in their propaganda, they are saying that they are not attacking Ukraine. They are not allowing their media to use the word war, they prefer to use it as a special operation. Special operation which is used to save the future of the Russian. <laughs> Even despite the fact that their economy is just dying, they are fighting with some imaginary Ukrainian Nazis. Their president, Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin, is saying that Nazis are all over the Ukraine. In the government, in the military, everywhere. Which is fake. Твоя задача подразделение. Ты встретил за это время нацистов и бандеровцев? Нет. Я прошу прощения всего народа Украины. За что? Their propaganda is developing in some very weird way. Right now, their top governments are saying that coronavirus was developed in Ukraine. They are saying that Ukraine has some biological laboratory where we are developing deadly viruses to kill Russians. Which is obviously fake. Seriously, coronavirus developed in Ukraine? Oh. Can you eat this bullshit, Russians? Today, their Ministry of the Foreign Affairs, Lavrov, told that they are not planning to attack any other country. He also told that they are not even attacking Ukraine. Yes, right now, even when they are bombing our hospitals, they are saying that they are not attacking Ukraine. Right now, when they are killing our citizens, they are saying that they are not attacking Ukraine. Even now, when kids are dying because of their bombing, they are saying that they are not attacking Ukraine. They were lying that they are not planning to attack Ukraine. They were lying when they said that they are not planning to attack Ukraine. 
they are lying even now when they are saying that they are not attacking Ukraine. As you can see, the agreement with Russians not worth even the paper which was signed by them. Those who posted today this text, Foreign Minister Lavrov, the goal of Russia's special military operation is to stop any war that could take place on Ukrainian territory or that could start from there. Russian Embassy in London retweeted by the Russian Foreign Ministry. Let me remind the Russian diplomats that in London, in case of need for mental help, you can dial NHS line 111. Thank you. Right now, Russian army is not able to do any significant progress. For the 15 days, they were not able to take over any big city in Ukraine. There were no cities which wanted to go to the control of the Russian Federation. Even now, in the middle of the humanitarian crisis, people of Ukraine are not taking anything from the Russians. Small cities which are under Russian occupation are going to the march with our Ukrainian flags. They're telling Russian soldiers to go away. They're telling Russian soldiers that they don't want to have anything with Russian federations. But Russians in their propaganda is saying that Ukrainians are very happy to meet and greet them which is not truth as well. And now Russians are going all in. Because President Putin can't admit that their attack is failing, that Ukraine don't want to be a part of Russia, that Ukrainian people don't want to see Russian soldiers in their streets. So that is why they started killing us, killing Ukrainians, killing Ukrainian future, killing Ukrainian infrastructure, killing friends and relatives of Ukrainian people all over the world. And now, if you want to help us, you can do simple things. Call your government to close skies above Ukraine. Russian rockets and Russian planes are killing us. Russian rockets and Russian planes are killing our future. Russian rockets and Russian planes are killing freedom of the whole world in future. They won't stop on Ukraine, they will go further. Second thing you can do, stop all business with Russia. Right now, a lot of companies are banning Russia, like Sony, like uh, Apple, like other companies. We need to make sure that Russian economy, Russian culture life, Russian everything will be blocked from the whole world. That will make Russian people to think, if they are living in the right country, if the government of their country is right, they will admit the war. This will help to fight Putin regime. We need to destroy all connection between Russia and the world. And finally, the whole world need to fight Putin's regime. We need to free hostages of the Putin regime. And now I'm speaking about people of Russian Federation. They don't have voice, they don't have will, they are brainwashed by Putin's propaganda. They are brainwashed by Putin's TV. There is no independent media in Russia right now. There is no Facebook, there is no Twitter. Russian government is disconnecting their people from the information. Because they don't want them to know that right now Russia are Nazis. They are creating a picture of the country which is fighting for the freedom. But basically, they're trying to get more slaves, more slaves to feed up their economy. Their economy, which will be used to sponsor Putin's army, Putin's army to go all over Europe. Putin is a new Hitler, and the world needs to unite to stop World War III. We all know that World War III will be the final war of the humanity. Putin told a couple of times that he is not afraid to use nuclear weapon nuclear weapon against Ukraine. Peaceful nation, peaceful country, the country which want to live independent life, independent from the Russia, connected to the Europe and Western world, and the country with democracy. Democracy is the scariest word for Putin. He is dictator, he is war criminal, and he is just mad and insane. Putin is trying to take all over the world. The world need to support Ukraine, NATO, Please close the skies above Ukraine. We need to fight together. Thank you. Hello, I am Kira Rudik, member of Ukrainian parliament, leader of the Holos party. 
dear peoples of the world, international partners, NATO members, whoever. I'm speaking to you from Kiev, Ukraine. I decided to stay here and fight on the day one of war, where everybody thought that we wouldn't stand a chance against Russia. But guess what? It's day 15 and we are still standing. On the day one, I got myself a rifle and I assembled a resistance crew. For the 15 days, we have been training two hours a day, every single day, to be able to protect ourselves, our families, our homes, our city, and our country. Watch us, we are still standing. However, there is something that we cannot do. We are very good at fighting on the ground. However, when there is a missile going onto your home from the air, there is nothing you can do to protect yourself and the ones who love. There is absolutely nothing you can do. And this is why we are asking for help. This is why my people are asking you for help. This is why my country is asking you for help. And this is why I am asking you for help. Please protect our skies. Please implement a no-fly zone. This is the only chance for my country to win this war. To destroy the tyranny that had been threatening the whole Europe, the whole world. We are able to do this. We are proving with our lives, with our blood, that we are able to do this. And the only thing that we need from you is to close the skies. Because we are right now closing the skies for the whole Europe. We are right now being the shield to protect peace in the other countries. Because we do know that Putin will not stop. He was very adamant about this. He is rebuilding Russian empire. We are building the country of future. We are building digital economy e-passport, all the things that are so, that sound unimaginable to the people who live in Russia in the 19th century. And I would like to use the rest of my speech to only one thing, hoping to get to you. Close the skies. Close the skies. Close the skies. Close the skies. Close the skies for my country so we can survive.